Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up Qt with your Visual Studio IDE. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Qt. And first of all, you need to install Qt in order to set up with Visual Studio. So the first link which will appear here will be from Qt.io. Just click this link and then basically we want to uh, download uh, Qt. So you can go here which says uh, download and then you will be asked uh, this question if you want to uh, you know use Qt for commercial deployment in-house de development or uh, the open source uh, development so we want to choose this one open source and then uh, it says are you prepared to make your application source code publicly available for now uh, this option is okay for us and then once again click yes and then uh, just click get started now in here you will be able to see this download link and uh, there is one more link here which says view all download so go here and then for windows you will be able to see uh, this download link which is for visual studio 2015 so the better option is to choose this uh, you know link or this executable file it's uh, you can see around 830 megabytes so it will take some time to download and then you just need to uh, click install and then click some uh, next buttons and then Qt will be installed on your Windows operating system. Qt takes a little bit time so uh, in my case it took around half an hour to install the executable file so you need to be patient. Now once you have installed Qt then uh, you will be able to find Qt in your uh, C directory generally the Qt is installed in your C directory so go to C directory and then search for the folder called Qt right. So I have uh, two Qt installed. One Qt is for MinGV and one Qt is uh, what I have shown you which is the Visual Studio version which is uh, this uh, executable file. Okay, So in my case uh, Qt is installed in this folder which is Qt VS but in your case it will be in the Qt because uh, I have made two different folder for uh, different uh, versions of Qt. Okay. So most probably the location for you will be Qt but in my case it's Qt VS right and you can see all the Qt files here and then you will be able to see uh, all the um, Microsoft Visual Studio related uh, also files here right. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our Visual Studio. I have Visual Studio 2015 but it can be uh, used with other versions of uh, Visual Studio also right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to uh, tools here and in the tools I will choose uh, this option which says extensions and updates okay so choose this option which says extensions and updates and then choose this option which says online and in online you need to search for just for Qt okay and it will uh, search for Qt and then you can see there are two options for Qt here. We want this option which says Qt5 package okay which is a fully functional uh, uh, Visual Studio add-in okay so just choose this option and click download and it's going to download uh, this uh, add-in to your computer and then it's going to add it to your Visual Studio. So once it's downloaded we need to click uh, this button which says install so it will install uh, this add-in to our uh, uh, our Visual Studio and then it says you must restart Microsoft Visual Studio in order to uh, you know uh, show the changes so we want to restart our Visual Studio so I will click this button which says restart now is going to restart my Visual Studio again and then we will be able to see uh, this Qt5 uh, menu in the Visual Studio IDE. So just let uh, it start. Now once my Visual Studio uh, restarts I will be able to see this kind of uh, menu Qt5 in my Visual Studio and then I can just uh, click this uh, menu button which says Qt5 and for the first time I need to go to here 
which says QT options. Okay, so just go to QT options and then in here uh, it will say need install template install now. So I will say yes and then click yes and in here just select the QT version here and then we need to choose the location of QT where it is installed, right? So I'm going to choose uh, add here and then I will uh, click this small button which says uh, browse for the path. So I just uh, click this uh, button with the three dots and then go to your C directory wherever your Qt is installed. And I told you in my case, uh, this folder is Qt VS, but in your case, it will be Qt, right? Because you are installing Qt for the first time, right? So just choose uh, Qt in your case, I will choose Qt 5 and then go inside uh, Qt 5.6 and then choose uh, this uh, folder which says MSVC uh, 2015 in my case, but it can be uh, different in your case if you are, uh, you know, watching this video in, uh, you know, future, for example, right? So just choose this uh, folder which says MSVC and whatever uh, is the version of uh, this, okay? So just uh, choose this and click OK and then click OK. Okay, so it will add uh, the path of uh, the QT to your uh, add in here, right? And then click OK. So now we are ready to create our first QT uh, project using uh, Visual Studio. So now let's create our first QT project using Visual Studio. So we will go to here, which says File, and then we will select New Project. And in the category Visual C++, we are going to choose Qt5 project. So you will be able to see this new category here, which will be Qt5 project. So just select this Qt5 projects and make sure that you select Qt application here. So just choose Qt application and then give the name to your project. So for example, I'm going to give my project name as first Qt and then I will click OK and then I will be able to see this kind of uh, Qt GUI project wizard, right? So just click next here and in here leave everything as default and click next and this will be the name of your class for uh, your, uh, you know, Qt project. So I will leave it as default and I will click finish here, okay? And then my Qt project will be created by Visual uh, Studio. So now my project has been created and on the left hand side in the solution I can see in the source file I have uh, two uh, files which is main.cpp as uh, every uh, you know Qt program uh, has which is the call for application and the other uh, you know classes right and now the second uh, file here is uh, first qt.cpp which we have created right and we also have the header files which is first qt.h which contains the header for our class and we also have the form file which is first qt.ui file so whenever you uh, double click on this uh, first qt.ui file you will be able to see your uh, you know qt designer and here you can drag and drop uh, the component which uh, ever you want to you know add to your uh, GUI, right? And you will be able to see here some red squiggly line. Don't worry about these uh, red uh, squiggly lines because when we run the program, it's going to, uh, you know, run successfully. So somehow the Visual Studio is not able to understand uh, these uh, files for the first time. But I think whenever you close your project and, uh, you know, open it once again, these uh, red line will be gone. Okay, so you can see our project is running successfully. So no errors, right? Now, for example, I want to add a button to my uh, Qt project. So I will just go here, which is uh, first Qt.ui file. And in the designer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop a push button, right? And I'm not going to uh, change uh, the name of uh, the object. I will leave it as default, which is Qt push button. And then I will go to my Visual Studio and save everything, 
by pressing this button and now uh, I will go to the header file first so just go to first dot uh, first qt dot uh, file and in here first of all I will declare a private slot so just write private slots and uh, I will be able to see something here so private slots something like this and then give a colon here right and then wh what we need to do here is we need to give a function declaration for example whenever we press the button we want to exit uh, from the application so I will just uh, say void exit and then this exit I will uh, provide the definition of it in the first qt.cpp file okay so in here I will just say void and then first uh, qt class name which is uh, something like first qt which is this one right and then I will call our uh, exit method so just write exit something like this okay and then inside the declaration I will just call q application so just write q application and then we just need to call our exit method here so just write exit which is our inbuilt method in qt application and once uh, this method is called the qt uh, you know whenever this method is called the qt exits itself so this is for that okay and then now i'm going to go to the constructor let me make it a little bit bigger so you will be able to see everything and in here what I'm going to do is I will call a connect method so just call a connect method and the first argument here will be UI and the name of uh, our button so the object name of our button is push button so just copy this uh, name and paste it here and then the signal so just write uh, signal and in capital and then we will uh, give the signal so the signal is when the button is clicked so just write clicked and give these two brackets here okay and then the third argument is this class and the fourth is the slot so just write slot here and then call this exit method which we have declared okay which is this exit method right and then I think I need to provide one more uh, round bracket and then the semicolon okay so this will be the code for uh, the button click event and when the button is clicked uh, the application will quit itself so save everything and then press this uh, button to run your application and build it and run it and hopefully this program will run successfully and it's showing some errors so let's see what the error is so as I can see here I haven't saved uh, the GUI or the UI file so I will go here on my designer and I will press this button which is save okay or you can also press uh, save from here by going to the file okay and once again I'm going to run my application and hopefully this will uh, work this time and now it works so I can see this button here and when I press this button our QT application must quit but it's not quitting so let me see what the error is so I think the spelling is clicked so C L I C K E D and then once again I will run the program and hopefully it will run now so when I press the button it exits okay so this is how you can configure Qt with your uh, Visual Studio IDE. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.